In this video, I'm going to show you how you can collaborate and troubleshoot network issues in real time as a team with NetBrain incident-based collaboration. I'm Atin Tandon, a services engineer here at NetBrain, and I'm going to show you three strategies. First, how a junior engineer can share his initial troubleshooting findings, such as device and interface status, to a shared incident pane for quick collaboration when escalating the incident. Second, how when senior engineer can see the map and the findings and share her own CLI findings, such as show BGP neighbors for real-time troubleshooting as a team. And third, how an IT colleague without an NetBrain account can also participate in real-time troubleshooting without using a user license. All three users are able to troubleshoot collaboratively in real-time as a team, sharing findings and insights to fix network incidents faster. Stay tuned to see incident-based collaboration. So let's demonstrate a typical troubleshooting scenario where a group of engineers collaborate to troubleshoot an incident. The tier one engineer can log into the incident quick access portal uh, and can pick up an incident which has recently been created and is still open. So here, the incident description says that application slowness has been reported. As an example for the first step, I can check the utilization of all resources on the devices on the map. To do that, I can run the overall health monitor. So now we can see that the overall health monitor results show that the status of all of the devices and interfaces are green and the utilization is under control. If this is the end of uh, the troubleshooting from a tier one engineer, he could escalate the case and share his findings uh, in the incident. He could do that by clicking on the publish to incident icon and add his findings. So you can see in the chat that the findings and the runbook output has been referenced. Now he can tag a colleague to escalate the case. So now I'm gonna log in uh, as the tier two engineer and we'll see what she sees. So here in the, I've jumped into another browser. So she sees a new notification comes in and she sees that a tier one engineer has mentioned her in a, in a chat. I can check uh, the findings that has been already been shared on this incident. I can click on the runbook result and check for myself that indeed all interfaces and devices were up. To troubleshoot, I have a preference to use the SSH window. So I can use the smart CLI So now I've logged into the device and I want to run the show command show BGP neighbors. Suppose in the result, I found an issue with the CLI command and I want to publish this back to the incident. I could just right click and say publish along with a message with my findings. So now you could see that my findings via the smart CLI has been appended to the chat. It seems like the firewall team had pushed some changes yesterday, which has caused the BGP configuration to flicker. So I'm gonna ask the tier one engineer to reach out to the firewall team and check. I'm back as from the perspective of a tier one engineer. In this case, my firewall team does not have access to NetBrain. However, I can invite them as a guest. They would have the option to review the chat as well as the map and the troubleshooting findings that we have done. In order to do that, I would enable the incident portal. And then for a guest user to access, I could set an access code. What this basically means is that any member from the firewall team 
can log into this map URL and access our findings after putting in the access code. So I'm going to log in as the Fireworld team member in an incognito window. So you can see here that the guest user logged in using the access code and he can view the map as well as all of the troubleshooting findings that uh, were shared by the colleagues. Now this user does not occupy any seed license. And with this ends with our demonstration. I hope you found this valuable. We at NetBrain want you to work smarter, not harder. We are network engineers just like you, and we understand the pain of doing things manually. So we came together as a team and created these videos to show you how you could use NetBrain's version 10 features daily in your tasks. We get that automation is a journey and we are committed to taking that journey with you all across the world in every organization. Let's change the way we've always worked as network engineers. We can do this together one automation at a time.